Hey YouTube, you've got to check this out. What you're hearing right now is Molten Drum Machine, Baseline, and Sunriser all playing nicely together on the same iPad being controlled by Genome MIDI Sequencer. This is crazy and it's working! I, I was doing this just as a test, I figured it would break something. But uh, it's, it's working and I'm going to show you why you would want to do this and then I'm going to show you how to do this. Before we get going, I want to let you know that everything I'm going to show you, you can do with an iPad 1. So here we got uh, Sunriser, and everybody loves Sunriser, right? It's got all kinds of great sounds and morphing and all kinds of goodness, right? But it lacks any kind of sequencer. It does have an arpeggiator, but the uh, ARP has no way of syncing with other applications. So you can't have like a, a drum machine keeping time and tempo with the ARP. But that is where... Genome comes in, because with this, I can send MIDI notes to uh, Sunriser as well as other applications and send a MIDI clock to keep them all in time. So right there, you're hearing Baseline, Molten, and Sunriser all working together, keeping the same tempo, and I can change that right now, throw this way up here. and they're all still keeping time. And I was trying to get crazy with it and started to throw in other things like uh, N-Log, but as soon as I got to more than three applications producing sounds at once, uh, I started to run into some weird audio problem, which I think might be an actual limitation on the hardware. But uh, it's awesome to be able to get into this and start throwing in your, your notes as you see, I've got here, it, it's sending these notes on MIDI channel one. And you can uh, assign all kinds of MIDI notes all the way down to channel 16. And this is great for uh, even replacing the sequencers in other applications. Uh, as you see, I've got 10 for replacing Modrum's uh, sequencer. And in addition to that, you can do CC messages. So here we've got this going on and now I can play with the mod wheel it's as simple as drawing around and, and now I've got my mod wheel being modulated so let me show you how to get this all set up before you start playing with all the virtual MIDI you need to make sure that you have all of the applications that you want to interact with running so that they know that each other is there so when you hit the MIDI button and go to the MIDI outputs, you should see all of the applications that you have running and then you can select them to say, hey, start sending MIDI at this thing. But here I am in finger baseline and if you bring up the, the dot dot dot, you get the preferences. And first you wanna make sure that you have your background audio on so that it'll keep playing even when you're not actually looking at the screen. And as you see, we've got the MIDI input connections and you can do network or even Sunrisers uh, MIDI out, or in this case, we want to listen to Genome. And that is it. That sets up a uh, baseline. Here I am now in Molten, and we need to do the same thing. We hit the settings to bring up all these menus and hit MIDI. And now we want to turn in the external sync, which as soon as you do, you, you notice we lose our play and stop buttons over here. So we go back into our settings and MIDI. And for some reason, if I just tell it to listen to the clock on Genome, that's not going to do anything. But if I tell it to listen to any clock from any port, that does it. Alternatively, if you have Modrum, you can hit the dot 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 and preferences like we did in Baseline. And here you can assign a MIDI channel if you want to send it notes and use Genome to sequence. So this is a great opportunity to get some greater variation in your drum patterns. And once again, we tell it to listen to the clock if we just want it to uh, listen for the, the tempo sync. Or if we're going to definitely be telling it which notes to be playing, then we tell it to listen for voice input from Genome. And now over here into Sunriser we want to hit our utilities and tell it to only listen to MIDI channel one. That way it's not listening to all of the channels and getting confused when we want to send uh, maybe our drum parts or whatever on different channels. So we just tell that to listen on channel one and then make sure you turn the background audio bit on or else you're not going to hear anything when you switch back into Genome. 
So keep in mind, you can only have three of those apps working at once before you start to run into some sort of weird uh, audio output problems. Uh, in addition to the apps I've shown you, you can also use NLog Synth Pro, SampleWiz, and uh, Funkbox, as, as well as others that I'm sure will come down the pipeline. But right now I've got Sunriser, Modrum, and Baseline all playing together when I push one button. And from there you can start to get fancy. As you see, I've got it just doing a simple little pattern that it's sending over to uh, Sunriser. But if you hit over this and now you're, you're doing the, the MIDI CC, I already showed you the mod wheel, but we can add our own CC. So let's do CC12. We're gonna call this a Wub. Uh, wub. So now I can start drawing in control changes on channel 12. So do something crazy here and then mellow it down and then throw something in over here and then another sharper uh, note there. So now what looks like essentially arbitrary little squiggly lines are sending uh, in increasing intensities of messages to whatever is listening on CC12. And now we gotta go and tell Sunriser to do just that. So as I go over here and select that, now it's listening for 12 and watch that thing fly. It's important that you're sending some amount of CC at Sunriser or else it's not gonna be able to learn anything. Or you could tell it to learn that CC12 is anything you want. Like here, we'll throw it onto a mount. So basically when you're in the slurred mode, you can tell it to control any of the knobs or sliders that you want. But uh, let's put it back on frequency and I'm gonna show you how I'm using that in genome. So here I've got the uh, the different values for my frequency knob. If I go back into my mod wheel and then do something similar to what I had before. So all you're hearing right there is four bars of the same two notes repeating over and over again and using the control change messages for the mod wheel and uh, our own arbitrary CC12. We're doing all kinds of crazy stuff. And you, like I said, you can assign this anywhere you want in Sunriser just using the MIDI learn function. I'd like to do some more uh, tutorials in the future showing off uh, some of the other features that this has got because this is an impressive little package to get everything singing along together. <laughs>